Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I done anything. I've been super busy this week, doing some family stuff and also parting out the Lexus and doing some other stuff. So today's video, we're gonna be going out to uh, my family's property and we're gonna finish, or not finish, but we're gonna do some parting on the Lexus. I'll show you guys what I've done so far and what I plan to do today. So come along and enjoy this video. Right now, I'm heading to U-Haul to go rent the trailer. I've been renting the trailer from U-Haul. Uh, they're four by seven, it runs about 25 bucks a day. I need to just do a 24 hour rental. So let me go rent the trailer because we gotta get that to haul some parts back. So enjoy, it's a beautiful day in Alaska. to the town of Wasilla. Gotta stop here and grab some breakfast because I'm gonna be wrenching all day until I get all the parts that I need. So this is the four by seven trailer that I've been renting. This is my third time renting it. And this time I brought my wood blocks, which I'll show you guys what those are for later. I brought my uh, pan right there because we're gonna be draining the oil. It might, we might drain the, uh, no, we're draining the coolant for sure. And then we might drain the engine oil while we're there. And then I brought my jack this time to uh, jack it up and put it on blocks and stuff. So this is it right here. 25 bucks from AutoZone. No, not AutoZone. Uh, from a U-Haul for one day. And uh, let's go get some breakfast real quick. Grab some McDonald's breakfast. I'm just going to get the breakfast, but I'm not going to eat it now. I'll eat it later, later on, like around noon or so. We got our breakfast for the day. Got the uh, hot cake big breakfast along with some sausage burrito. Yeah. Let me take a bite right now. There it is, the Lexus. Last week I was able to get all the doors off already. Didn't film any of that because I was on a time crunch. But today we have all day, so I'll try to go ahead and do some time lapse, do some filming for y'all. Um, pretty much tear down is pretty easy. So today's job is um, we want to go ahead and remove these rear bumpers, um, remove any of the seals, keep those for spares. Uh, interior is pretty much gut up already. I'm going to go ahead and remove the fenders. I'm going to go ahead and take the hood and this piece right here. I want to keep this. And then also we're going to go ahead and remove the steering wheel. And dis we're gonna basically try to disconnect the cab from the frame because I have somebody that's gonna take the frame because I don't want the I don't want the cab. So once they remove the cab, I'll actually have access to all my frame and engine compartment, my engine drivetrain stuff. So that's that's kind of like the game plan. And then I'm gonna start stripping the dashboard. I'm gonna start taking the engine apart, um, not the full engine, but just like all the accessories and stuff like that air box and all that stuff and get that detached from the cab and go from there and get all this stuff taken off and check this out it still starts wait what i know it starts i didn't i didn't i didn't disconnect anything yet what's going on that's weird i got no power hold on i must have forgot a fuse or something I know it should still start. I guess it doesn't start anymore. I must have removed some electrical stuff that disengaged it to start, but I know the battery and all that stuff is still good. So I wanted to start it up because I wanted to flip the vehicle the other way around, um, just for other reasons, but we'll just leave the way it is now. So let's go ahead and start tearing this baby down. I'm gonna start with the interior dashboard. While I'm doing the interior, I'm going to go ahead and start draining the coolant. <sighs> Never mind. It's too hard to get to. I'm just going to do it the easy way later on. I'm just going to cut the rubber hoses. Let me just go ahead and do that now. Because <sighs> we don't need the rubber hose anymore. <sighs> okay. 
There we go. There we go. Rubber hose off. We can empty all of this right here. Don't need this anymore. Oh. Green coolant. And we're gonna keep all these engine parts. Oh, that is so green. Looks like Gatorade. Probably won't be draining the oil today. I don't need to drain the oil at all yet until I get the engine pulled out, which won't be till the next week or two. So I'll keep that for spare. Okay, didn't film this part, but I got the steering wheel out. <coughs> I got all the fuses, keeping all the fuses, keeping all the relays, like all the relays, all the transmitter, anything that's electronic that can break, you definitely want to have the computer boards, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and keep finishing this. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the steering links, um, take the steering links out, these guys, take out the brake pedal, a gas, and the brake booster. And then I think I got all the fuses over here. I'm not gonna keep in the wire harness. This is gonna go with the cab. And the next thing will be getting this out and getting the heater core out. 
because I know those guys are pretty hard to find when, if they do ever go bad. So get the heater core out and maybe get the heater blower. So everything in that front end over there. Here's what I got done so far. About two and a half hours into this. I already broke that piece there. So I think the heater core is still good. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I really, I kind of want it, but I don't really need it. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that alone for now. I'm going to move on to the engine bay now. But I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast real quick. So we got the fan, air ducts, fuses, hoses, airbag. This is the AC, I believe. And then the brake, uh, brake pedal, steering column bracket, console, dashboard console, the transmission shifter, steering wheel. I'm going to sell this steering wheel as a whole piece just because I don't want to break it apart from the shaft right there. So I'll throw in the keys to whoever wants to buy it or I might just keep it as a spare. Man, but so far it looks good. And this is the little center, uh, the dashboard support bracket, the center vents, all these air vents, plastic vents. You don't really ever need them, but when you do need them, it's hard to find. And this is the harness. So this is the uh, dash and dash harness, they call it. And this doesn't go from the ECU. The ECU has its own harness, but this goes into the, uh, this goes throughout the whole board. And then it goes into the battery. No, not the, uh, the fuse, the fuse box. So I might try to take it out from the fuse box and see if I can take it out. If I can take it out, I'll keep it. But if not, then I'll just throw it in here for the guy that's gonna use the cab. But that thing is like 30 pounds of wires and who knows what over 100 plus plugs and stuff so but it's pretty easy once you have it sorted out so we're pretty much done for the interior guys i don't want anything else in here <clears throat> i don't need a carpet the only thing left is the heater cord the, the wires uh this this is the abs thing right here the abs sensor and you can't really take this off unless you have the key for it so i don't have a star bit key for it so i don't i'm not worried too worried about that so there's just the carpet more wire harness for the tail lights and stuff we got the headliner out already I got the sunroof out already last week, so I'm not gonna really mess with anything from here on. I'm gonna leave this thing intact. The headliner is pretty bad, so we're just gonna go ahead and trash that. I'm gonna, actually gonna put that on the floor, lay that on the ground so when I go down, I can have something to rest on. But let me go ahead and take a quick break and then we'll go on to the uh, engine bay, which is the fun stuff. And again, for the engine bay, we're just gonna remove the battery tray, radiator, air box, and try to disconnect everything from the cab. And then I'll go ahead and also remove the fender and knock off the wood, knock off the hood. So, and also we'll keep this right here. This is the transmission cooler. So pretty easy stuff. It's easy when you're just tearing things down apart.
GoPro on the time lapse died out, so it's charging out right now. But so far, here's what I got done. Fenders, front support, radiator, fan, air box. You guys saw some of that. <coughs> Brake booster can't come out until the plenum is off. So I'm not, I don't want to remove the plenum because I want that as a whole piece for the engine. So what I'm going to do is when we lift the cab, <coughs> we'll go and lift the cab and that will give us enough room to pop that brake booster out. But man, fun stuff. Fender's out. Passenger fender is good shape. Besides the scuff on the flares. So I might hold on to that. And then, uh, no, that's the driver. And then passenger side is kind of dinged up, but it could be fixed. But yep, this is it right here. Uh, let me see what else I have to do. <coughs> we talked about the interior already. So I have everything kind of mostly <coughs> everything. The cab needs to be unbolted from the engine. So I have all the lines off, all the igniters. I'm not going to keep any of this stuff right here. I also found out that there's a fuel pump relay in here. So make sure you hold on to that piece. Fuel pump relay. It's like hidden behind here. Yes, yeah, so I got everything unhooked on this side for the most part that I'm aware of. Everything else can be, it's going to be still attached on the frame. So on the passenger side, I just need to, I just need to disconnect the hard lines to the brake calipers. And I think we should be good. <coughs> Alternator, battery cable is off. This is the brake lines to the NC. That's off. And then the brake lines. Yeah, we don't need to do anything on this side. So we also have the fuel return right here. Fuel return. And then the fuel line. This is the main fuel line for the gas tank. So that's off. And then all of this stuff right here will go up with the cab. Um, this harness will go up the cab. This AC will go on there. And then the whole heater hose, that's off. Gotta make sure you have zip lock, keep your stuff organized. And then we got this piece off. This piece is just held by the Phillips screw. And then we also got the hinges for the hood. Might as well keep those in case. This is the piece that I want. This is a good piece though. Really nice, just not the right color, but I, I can make that work. Super dirty, super dusty. And then also on the 80 series, uh, one thing I found out is that on the 80 series, these fenders, these inner fenders, they're metal. <coughs> and these guys actually detach from the cab right here. So I might... I might go ahead and remove at least the driver's side because the driver's side is good. So I might do that because once you remove these guys, it's actually much easier for you to pull the in, um, remove the engine if you weren't gonna lift the cab out. On this side here, you have the you have the bolts that goes from the cab that bites into the fenders here. These guys here, so those are the ones you have to remove. So I might remove that, and then this front support. You can also remove more of this front support too, I believe. And then um, yeah, we'll go from there. Now we're not gonna touch any of the suspensions, dry lines. We're not gonna touch any of that yet today. I'm just gonna wrap it up real quick. Uh, double check my work right here. And then after that, I'm gonna go on to the rear passenger. And then after the passenger, I'm gonna start unbolting the cab. And then maybe next week, I'll let the guy that wants the cab um, have him come over and see how he wants to remove, move this onto his trailer. But for the most part, that's pretty much it. We're not gonna mess with the front bumper. Uh, nobody really wants it. Nobody really needs it. So I'm just gonna let that sit on there. I also want these hinge right here. <coughs> these are the tailgate hinge. I was able to remove the tailgate last time, but I couldn't get these bolts yet. <coughs> so once I remove these uh, covers for the bumpers, I'll be able to access these hinge. And then I'll save these for spares. And this seal right here, I might keep the seal. Oh, never mind. Just, just ruin it. These center blocks are for the uh, frame. Once I have everything off and once it's time to remove the axles, I'll go ahead and put it, the, I'll put the frame on the axles and then drop the axle and let, just let the axles roll on the wheel. So that's the plan for that one. I'm not gonna mess with these guys. I don't need them on mine. So I'm just gonna leave those in place. There's also this plastic piece right here. This plastic piece butts up to the metal piece. And I'm not gonna mess with that as well. Like I said, I don't need it. And the whole exhaust system, I told you guys about that already. We're gonna keep all that stuff. Anything that's under the, under the frame or on the frame, we're keeping it. So not keeping this right here. Don't need it. This is the rear heater blower. Um, your rear heater line goes in here, blows hot air. These are all just trash, trash. So that's pretty much it, man. And like I said, I, think, I don't think I'm gonna take the heater core. I'm just gonna leave the heater core here. It's pretty hard. Uh, there's like a few more bolts, but I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much done with the interior. So we will have to lift this carpet here. And um, what that is is that once we lift this carpet, it's like right here. This is where you remove it, and then you can see the bolts that goes down to the cab that bolts onto the frame. So, and then uh, before I leave tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying uh, PV Blaster or Free All. I got Free All now. Start spraying Free All on anything that's like rust, 
bolts and nuts and stuff like that so have that ready for next week didn't film the body mounts but i got the body mounts off. all the body mounts is off we just have to lift it up and see what else is still intact i know the rear heater hoses are still intact with the uh blower for sure so i might have to just end up destroying that blower get that get rid of it but for now that's enough for today i'm just gonna go ahead and clean up and wrap it up come back next week and uh, finish the tear down those body mounts are super expensive too so make sure you guys uh hold on to them don't throw those hardwares away the bushings are still good so i kept all the bushings the washers and stuff couldn't get to the rear bumper but that's attached to the frame so we'll go ahead and tackle that once we get the cab out of here i really want to just get the cab out of here now so i can start getting into the frame and dry train and once that's done that's pretty much it so this is it right here good day today i got a lot of stuff done and uh yeah that's pretty fun i'm not gonna move these things out I, I thought about it but oh maybe maybe next week if i come back and i feel strong and energized i'll go ahead and tackle them but for today i'm not gonna mess with them today's just gonna be clean up day clean up and get rid of all these parts look at all these parts here so many parts so i gotta haul all these back to town Should have got another tote. The radiator is still good, so this would be my spit radiator. So, lots of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll keep you guys posted on the next video once we get it going. These right here are all the plastic trims that goes on the side right here under the carpet.